UN Climate Chief Ivo de Boer recently resigned after four years of leading international climate change negotiations. Some say it was due to the chaos of the Copenhagen summit last year and the fact that the summit quickly became known as Climate Gate after a thousand suspicious emails between climate scientists were leaked to the public. Will these scientists ever be able to regain the trust of the global community and will the world's largest polluters be motivated to change now? Richard, don't you think that damaged their credibility, the, the emails that came out? and? Well, I think to a degree because the population in general uh, has a very low opinion of scientists anyway since they don't understand what they do. Uh, beyond oh. that, <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, my question is that where did the leaks come from? How did they get there? Who was actually, you know, fermenting these leaks? Uh, and who were the scientists that were really written, uh, you know, writing the emails? So that information wasn't so clear when I read the the information. Uh, will the largest polluters be motivated? I don't think they're going to be motivated to change if, even if there hadn't been a leak of those scientists. Well, the United States is number two, by the way, right? China's number right. one, right. and we are number two. Right. So, so. And, and China it has very little need to uh, deal with climate change because they're trying to feed a billion and three quarters people. India is in the same boat, mm -hmm. and so you've got you've got the haves and the have-nots worrying over how we how they are going to be restricted when the big guys aren't going to be restricted. So it's it's a world political nightmare, uh, and unfortunately, the people who are going to inherit it are your grandchildren and my grandchildren, because climate change is a real scientific fact. We have. And it's not global warming, that's a misnomer. It's massive, rapid climate change, which is far worse than just global warming. I well, call it weather, <laughs> <laughs> personally. I call you it call it winter, spring, summer, I, fall? Exactly, I call it call seasons. It? I don't buy any of it, I never have. So I'm not saying that I don't recycle. I'm not saying that I don't wanna you know, help out where I can, but you I drive just a Hummer. No, okay. <laughs> just but it is to clear that up. It is an <laughs> SUV. <laughs> well, here's something interesting. If people, people who've been in Portland for the last 30 to 40 years, have just noticed the trees in the neighborhood. Over the last 30 and 40 years, fewer and fewer trees are dropping all their leaves. In fact, many trees now are deciduous are keeping their leaf structure throughout the winter because the winters are, even though last year it seemed like it was getting colder, winters very slowly are getting warmer and plants actually are far more sensitive to micro changes in climate than we as people. Will I be able to grow oranges soon? <laughs> yeah. I don't know about I oranges, know. but you know, your <laughs> wine, the wine country is gonna change from Pinots to no, uh, white Cap wines or eventually. It's not really. I mean, with all due respect. No, of course. I mean, being silly. It, it, okay. <laughs> well, it's not responsible to say it's just weather. I mean, I, I, it, it really isn't. And I mean, it's a it's a very serious subject because, I mean, for example, the whole climate gate issue. You have a situation where one guy on the IPCC sent a couple of emails out where he made a couple of mistakes or fudged some data on one study about Himalayan ice melt. And all of a sudden, people like Senator Inhofe get all exercised, and, and climate, this global warming thing is a lie, and, and the fact is, look, it's snowing in Washington and things like that, and, and, and it's not responsible. And I think what happens is, is when you take that kind of an attitude, what you do is you, you, you de-legitimize um, science, and that, that is an irresponsible position to take, and I think a lot of people in the Republican Party have taken that position. I respectfully disagree, but this is the reason why. I, I believe in science, but when you're covering up certain parts of the world and you're saying, this is happening here, but don't re look at the research here. Or for example, for the first time ever, you've got Florida where the Everglades are freezing. They're freezing. But see, but, you're missing but, the point. It's change, not it's change. warming. It's that's, that's change, here, see? Here's, People think global warming means the planet's going to get warmer <coughs> in general, and that's not true at all. You have a massive set of changes throughout the entire global system, the oceans, the, uh, the atmosphere, the, the plants, and things like that people don't even know about us. They knew about the oceans go up three degrees in temperature. It could release all the trapped methane under the ocean 
it would just percolate up like the ocean is full of soda pop. Why, why can't it just be considered cyclical? Why can't it? Why does it always have to go back to because massive amounts of pollution and we have to drive? Because historically, when you take a look at the ice cores that come out of Antarctica and, and the North Pole, they can show you what the t what the mm -hmm. weather was like over. 300, 500,000 years very easily, and they can see the changes. The changes before man came on were gradual, very slow. This is, we're at the end of an ice age right now, actually, probably going in, or we were probably going into another one. But the pollution, we've been putting all that carbon dioxide back in the air. Think of what the planet started out like. There was no oxygen, it was all carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide got trapped by plants, it's under, now it's being put back. We're actually taking our atmosphere back to what it was before animals were on the planet. This is a huge topic, but I'm sorry we are out of time. Wow. I have to cut Richard off. Noel. Uh, go on to the next topic.